Some veteran firefighters tell us it was the strangest order they ever received from a superior officer. Shovel the snow from grassy areas in front of the firehouse and dump it onto the street. DC Fire Chief Theodore Coleman admits to giving that order last night, but says some firefighters overreacted and ended up blocking up the streets with piles of snow. Four firefighters were injured during the operation. One fire station had to be placed out of service for more than an hour because of lack of manpower after losing a firefighter to the snow battle. A few hours later, many of the same firefighters were shoveling the same snow out of the street and back onto the grass where it came from. But this time, they were assisted by Mayor Marion Barry. While giving the order to clean up the streets, Barry today strongly supported Fire Chief Coleman and blasted the D.C. Firefighters Union. I told them to put them in the street. That's where I, and I didn't tell them to pile them up in the middle of the street. We're supposed to use some common sense as relate to any order you get. The order was actually to sh put it out in the middle of the street so the snow plows could get to it. So you did just that? Did exactly that. Some silly firefighters had tried to, try to embarrass us. I'm let them do it. They put it right in front of the, the, uh, the fire station. It was very simple to put it right around the side. The fire chief wants you to to make snowmen out in the middle of Connecticut Avenue, go ahead and do it, and we'll address it after, uh, after business hours uh, Monday morning. Mayor Barry accuses the firefighters of a lack of civic uh, pride and more. Year. And you tell me some firefighter is going to shove a little snow and hurt his or her back. That's all part of a game. Are you saying they're faking it then? I, I believe they are. Mayor Barry's claim that the firefighters injured last night may be faking it as part of a union effort to embarrass Chief Coleman does not sit well with the union rank and file. They point out that two of the injured are not even union members, including a firefighter whose back injury forced this company out of service. And they say the second non-member is a close friend of Chief Coleman. At this point, it appears to me the poor man is stressed out. The injured firefighters were all seen today by city doctors and placed on sick leave. I'm Dave Statter, Eyewitness News.